All right, Minnie, my odd rot is here coming at you with a number. Damn, can I talk? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was drinking my uh, my smoothie and decided to jump Peace on. Peace and blessings, dear divine family. All right, Minnie, my odd rot is here coming at you with another video. I am divine TV. So, I'm a little challenged by this question that a subscriber asked me, but I, I want to take on that challenge. Uh, she asked me, what have you learned that you should be doing? I must admit, not the best look for freezing this video. However, I wanted to be very clear that the question was, what is it that I have learned that I should be doing in life? The life part is very important. So considering the fact that this is a, a channel about spirituality, spiritual, spiritual growth, understanding the self, that's going to always come first before um, talking about anything mundane. However, they come together right so I, for me monday like when you work a job it doesn't go without like spiritual practices right for me and when i say spiritual practice it's really about like how you practice your life how do you continue to work on yourself right while you're in a job while you're you know interacting with other people and social networking activities how you deal with your children all of that is is to me spirituality comes first you know like when you're driving on the road and you're cutting people off and getting pissed off and mad that is a direct relationship to like what's going on inside of you so i'm gonna always 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 bring up spirituality um in a question that I'm not quite sure if it has to do with like a career. Because um, most of the time, like, and if you look at an astrology chart, because honestly, an astrology chart really helps you understand um, the, the foundation of life, right? And so when you look at the 10th house, the 10th house is about your duty and your responsibility. It's about your career. It's about like what you put out into the world is how people are also see you, right? Um, in, in terms of what you're doing. And so with that being said, whatever it is that you are doing right now, do it to the best of your ability. Because one thing for sure, life's going to change. It always does. And it really honestly depends on the cycle that you're in. And number one, it depends on how you respond in any type of situation that you're in that will take you to the next level. All right, let me explain, right? Because that sounds probably like a bunch of gibber gibberish. I hate when I'm listening to a video, then it starts to sound like gibberish. And it's like, what? What did she just say? Okay, so I remember, um, oh man, this was, <clears throat> and keep in mind too, like I'm 45 years old. So I've had, you know, quite a bit of life in me, probably more behind me than ahead of me, like my mother would always say. Uh, so yeah, so just keep that in mind. So I would say maybe like, hmm, let's see my kids, uh, 12 years ago, 12, about 12 years ago, we'll, we'll keep it there. I remember being like, so frustrated, so, so frustrated because of the fact that I was still doing the same type of job, right? I want, I asked to be there. I wanted to do this job. I, I wanted to be a case manager working with people. Um, 
you know, the universe put me in a situation where I was working with people with mental health disabilities. That's not something that when I was younger that I said I wanted to do. When I was younger, I said I wanted to be a social worker, working with children, because I didn't like the fact that I was mistreated as a child and I wanted to protect children. I didn't go to school for that. I did not finish college, okay? But the universe placed me in a position where um, I got to work with people who were licensed, had master's degrees, you know, they, they had their certificates. And so I, I was in this case management field for many years, probably like a good 12 years doing this kind of the same work. And I was getting frustrated because I felt like I should at least be a supervisor. And I was just so tired of working with these people. And, you know, um, it wasn't necessarily working with the people, but it, it was just doing the same old work, driving around, seeing these people. I just felt like it just, it just wasn't doing anything for me. <laughs> and to top it off, you know, I was struggling. I was making, you know, I think at the time, 30000 a year, being a single mother of two, and I was just tired. And so I had uh, did this, um, this, this spiritual reading. And um, I don't know, I think I asked about like, you know, should I um, like just go look for another job? And basically uh, the answer that I got back was, you know, you look at these people as though they have mud on their face or that they rolled around in the dirt. You know, like you're here to help them. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like the problem is not them, the problem is you. And I was like, it was so accurate. And I, I just never had an answer come to me like that where I was like, wow, am I looking at them like they're mud on the, like they like they have mud on their face? Damn. Hmm. I need to make, I'm, I'm viewing, I'm doing something wrong. And so what I realized was, you know, the, after getting that message, what I realized was that like, these people have not done anything to me. I'm here to do a job. Let me do my job right. Let me do it to the, my fullest heart, mind, and body capacity in a very sincere way okay that's what I really mean be sincere about it and so I stopped focusing on where I thought that I should be and focused on where I was and that maybe it's time for me just to do a good job at where I'm at right now and I'm telling you something when I started to focus on my job really be sincere about working with my clients it, I, and this is the part of the spiritual work that I'm talking about. It wasn't, it was probably like a, about a year where the magic happened. I mean, a trip where I got offered to be acting director, never had been a supervisor, went straight to, hey, I want you to be the acting director. You know what you're doing. You, you got it going on. Like, I didn't even, I didn't even ask for that. You know, and it happened. And then from there, I continued to just do my work and then ended up somewhere being a director. So the point I'm trying to make here is that life is going to take you where you need to go. Like, I remember just being full of anxiety about the future. Didn't know where I was going to be. I, oh, my God. When I was in my, my mid-20s, full of anxiety. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? You know what I'm saying? Like, what am I? What, uh, like, my, I'm not where I'm supposed to be. You'll probably never feel like you're so where you're supposed to be. There are people who know exactly what they want to do. And I, 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 I'm just like amazed, you know, but they just know. And I'm pretty sure if you looked in their astrology chart, you will see it. So if you're a person that doesn't know what you're supposed to do, then where you're at, do what you're supposed to just do, do the work. 
because anything can happen. Like you can meet the love of your life, have a baby, be a stay at home mom and be like, I really, this, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. You probably couldn't even have seen that. You wouldn't have seen that five years ago. You know, so life is going to take you. I, I think the biggest takeaway that I want you to have in this video is that it's really about like spirituality is really about like how you conduct yourself, how you conduct yourself to yourself and how you conduct yourself out there in the world. And that's challenging enough as it is, okay? Because, you know, people want to, you know, they, they, they're, they're in their emotions. They cry. They lash out. You know, there's arguments. There's oppositions. There's, dis there's disagreements, litigations. That's challenging in itself. And that's a spiritual endeavor in itself, period, okay? So life is going to take you. It's really all about, like, how you learn to navigate yourself in these situations that's going to cause some opposition, some adversity, because that's what happens. That's how you spiritually grow. You don't spiritually grow sitting down and meditating and lighting incense. That's just not how it works. Okay, now those are great paraphernalia, great tools um, to use. Um, you know, in your armor so that, you know, you can get out there in the world or even in your own household, whether you're dealing with, you know, any type of issues, right? You do need those things. Um, but I don't, I don't think that you'll ever really know like what you're supposed to be doing. I think whatever it is that you're doing and you're righteous about it, you know, and that takes the inner work and you're righteous about it, then life is going to take you where you need to go, especially if you don't know. So this is a long video and it's just so much that could could have been said that I can't because it'll probably be like a whole hour video and I would have to break things down. But I hope that makes sense um, to you, to the subscriber who asked that question and to anybody else uh, who is listening. And so by all means, um, if you have any other questions, if there was something you wanted me to clarify in this video, by all means, let me know. Um, and that's all for now, family. Peace. Mwah.